Okay, I've got this idea. I saved my horns from deer hunting through the years. That was my grandson's first deer. This is the one we're sitting together. I shot it at the same time. I thought those would be worth keeping. <clears throat> That's one, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. And that's the biggest one I ever got. It was so awesome. His horns were so dark that I couldn't see him. It was a doe day that could shoot anything. But if I would have seen how big he was, I would have probably fell off my chair. I don't know. I missed a lot of them by getting nervous. <clears throat> it was awesome. That was on Thanksgiving day, 09 maybe. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I uh, start by cutting out some round discs, full saw, and some bigger ones. I traced a piece of plywood with just a paint or a sheet rock, one gallon cap. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do, and I have done it, is grind these off so that they sit the way I want them, because that's important. You don't want them all crooked or anything. So get them just right the way you want them. This isn't going to be seen. This is just to give us something to work off of and work with. So if I'm going to screw this to this piece of wood, I'm going to need a little more wood to screw into. So I had these old wooden uh, cabinet knobs and I just put one on there. Now, that's going to sit just right. I like that. All right, so I'm going to drill a hole through here and put a screw into this. That'll hold it all. That's step one. I'm going to do that to all of them. Just drill a hole through the bone, a little bitty hole so I don't break it. I'm going to drill it. And I'm going to put a screw in and get them solidly connected to the piece of wood so that I can start. I drilled a hole. I attached these all to this back plate. I got them sitting the way I want. They're nice and straight. Next thing I'm going to do, mix up some Bondo. I'm going to put it in here just to secure it more than just that one screw. How did I know it needed more hardener? Just guessing. All right, step three. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill in all this with this foam and then I'll sand it down to the right shape.
next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hacksaw blade. Foam's all dry now. And I'm going to cut around Now I'm going to just try and form it and make it into something that I like. Okay, at this point, I've got some 60 grit sandpaper. All right, I got them pretty close to the shape I want. Not perfect, but that's okay for right now. I'm just using a sash brush. I guess the only thing I, warning I would give is don't paint the antlers. Just getting a coat of primer on it all. That's what it's all about, kind of seal it. So make sure you did all the sanding you want to do because it can't be sanded that easy. After it's painted, it's hard to sand. All right, I'm gonna knock this out. Okay, okay, now I have them primed. We'll let that dry. And I'll just set these over here to dry. They already look cool. You could paint them any color you want or wrap some kind of material around them like, I don't know, maybe camouflage or crushed velvet, but they already look cool. Put a hanger on them, boom, they're looking good. Okay, I'm gonna try and smooth them out just a little bit more. So I have just some regular sheetrock mud. I'm just wiping them down. All right, then I'll sand that down when it dries. I ended up using a five minute mud, sheetrock mud. It dries really quick. And I just wanted to fill some of the divots. That really could be overkill, but I'm just kind of actually trying to fine tune this um, method as I go. I think I'm gonna wrap mine in some kind of material I found some very inexpensive fleece, which is kind of stretchy camouflage material at one of the big stores. And I had, I was able to buy a half a yard, which is enough to do five sets of antlers. And that was less than five bucks.
that's all wrapped up nice. Now I'll add a little hanger. Then I just put a screw in the wall and hang it up, ready to go. You know, you can hang your antlers out in the barn or out in the garage or whatever, but if you want them inside, you might as well have them looking good. Might as well dress them up a little bit. And I think this method is simple, cost effective, and I think it looks great. Remember, you can paint these things or cover them in material. And if you cover them in material, you can pick any material you want. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you next time.